Hey guys, today we're going to be building a barrel stove. Uh, you can buy these kits at Harbor Freight. I think I've seen them on eBay. Um, this one actually came from a hardware store. Like 45, 50 bucks. But I built one already on a smaller barrel, a 30 gallon barrel last year for the inside of the house. It seems to work okay. And this year I needed another one for the outside patio slash pool room. So we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so here's all the pieces that are up in that little box. We have the top for the flue. We got the, the legs. We have the door. And the screws. Okay, so now we put a level on the barrel so we can get some marks so that everything kind of lays flat so the legs are parallel together and where everything kind of works where your top of your stove isn't off to one side. <laughs> so we put a mark on the on each end, one there, and then we put one over here, exactly centered. And then we just ran one across the top here. And that'll help us get it all lined out. Okay. Okay, so we have the top of for the stove. We're going to trace around the outside just to know, know where it's at. Put in our little dots here, here. Okay, now you can either take this out so that you can get a complete circle if you want. Um, that's why I put the outside of the area so I know about where it's at. Okay, so we're going to center this up. So we're just going to kind of make a line all the way around where we're going to cut it. Okay, we have this one here on the top and it's ready to be drilled and cut. Uh, we put marks down here on the bottom so that everything's kind of centered up and got all our holes already marked. Same thing here at the top, got it marked up and the inside marked. One note I would like to say is try to make sure the door is um, somewhat towards the bottom instead of the top. Last year we put one at the top and the smoke just rolled out the top whenever you open the door. So, this was the last year's stove and if you notice I put it all the way to the top to try to leave myself room for firewood at the bottom and that's fine but as you open the door it would just release smoke. So let's try to keep it to the bottom as best as possible. Okay so we have our legs ready to be drilled. Um, I like a number of four inches. It seems to work pretty good. Uh, you got four inches from each leg to the line, and then we have four inches from the back to the edge of the drum. Works same thing over here. It seems to work okay. And we just drill each of our holes. to drill out where I'm going to do the door before I start cutting it out with the grinder just in case I lose the marks. So we're going to go ahead and pre-drill them all out. And we'll do the same for where the stovepipe goes in. There. OK, 
Okay, that was drilled and ready to be cut out on the inside. Okay, we have the door drilled out and it's ready to be cut also. Okay, I'm using a 4 inch grinder. Uh, it's the tool that I like to use to cut them. If you've got a plasma or a torch or uh, I guess even a skill saw with a metal cutting blade, of your choice. I like to use a 4 inch grinder. Okay, we're ready to cut out the top for the flue. Uh, we're just going to, I use a grinder, we're just going to make a round cut, then we can install that. Okay, so now we're going to finish out cutting out the hole for the door. Should take a minute. Okay, so we had to drill some holes for the air space and for the, the little channel for this to slide into. I just notched it out here. You can see this here is kind of, it's got to move. And the holes for the air. Now we can mount it. Okay. Finishing it up. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the last screw here. And now it's all secured. This here still moves. We got plenty of airflow. Okay, so now we're going to start putting on our legs. The bottom leg is one of the hardest ones to put in because you can't reach it really. So put in all the bolts first. And you really have to have long arms. Snug them up as tight as you can with your hand, because on the bottom it has a little lock nut, whatever, so it just kind of holds itself. Okay. Then you can finish it off with the wrench. Okay, now we're going to put on the last leg. It's a little bit easier. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. with the wrench and you're done. Okay, so now we're going to install the top flue here. All the holes are drilled. This one is really hard to do because this part doesn't come out. So get all your bolts in first. That way you know if you got to drill any hole or anything. Okay, so we're just going to finish screwing this off. We want to build a fire inside this to burn it all off so that whenever you put it in your house it doesn't just smoke it all up because all this paint is going to burn off. So you want to make a fire outside. 